Welcome to Kentuckiana Real Talk, hosted by Jeremy Ward. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe on the podcast provider of your choice and consider subscribing to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel for more expert real estate insights. Now, let's start the show. Hey, it's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services, and today I have a special special guest on. It actually uh, is my wonderful daughter, Peyton Ward, and uh, she has been with me since day one in the real estate game as a little kid, and uh, she's all grown up now and just passed her real estate exam, got her license, and is coming to work with us this week, so... There's a lot in that statement, Peyton. Yeah. How's how's things been going? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think starting off with my courses, I was very um, ambitious about that and started my courses with a three-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know, I have a one-year-old son now. And so that was definitely a struggle, just juggling it all. But I passed the courses with flying colors and I just kind of hammered down and got through it. But I was not prepared for how hard the test was going to be. So that was definitely a struggle. And there's just been so many changes going on in my life from adapting to be a mom, being a mom and all that. I think that the studying for the test, it made it so much harder. Mm -hmm. And obviously there was some procrastination in there and there was a little bit of fear of failure. But eventually, after taking it a few times, you know, and studying and just trying every different way possible to get that knowledge in my head, I finally passed it, <laughs> sitting in this very conference room um, for hours on end. But it was worth it. It was very much worth it. And it's such a huge relief to be here now and to just know that I got that behind me and I can finally start pursuing this. And nothing, like, nothing's in my way now, if that makes sense. Right. So. Well, I remember when I got, it was like <clears throat> going to the class. Yeah. This was tough, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and of course, it's tougher now than it was probably. Yeah. Uh, and then like I remember walking into that test going, oh my gosh, I got to pass this test. Mm -hmm. Like this is all for the, once I get past this test, yep. I know I can do the rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh, and what a relief once you pass that test. Oh you my know? gosh, yeah. It's like the world <laughs> changes, the sun comes out, yeah. everything's good. And then it's like, okay, now what? Well, yeah, and especially the online proctor test. Uh, there's somebody watching you take the test, obviously, so that you don't cheat and all that stuff. But when I would get to the end of it and I'd submit the, you know, you're done, like, submit, let's see what your score is. I hit that button and I just closed my eyes and then when I'd open it and when I, every time I got the fail, like, it's in red letters <laughs> and you're just sitting there and I bawled my eyes out. Like, the last time the time before I passed it I really thought that was going to be the one mm -hmm. and I cried like I just immediately started crying and I was saying and you have to rip up your paper that you use for your notes so I'm sitting there ripping you up and crying <laughs> and the proctor's probably watching me like uh. <laughs> but then the second time or the time after that I passed it and I literally jumped out of my chair I was like and they completely cut me off because they're like what are you doing like <laughs> you're supposed to sit there and like not do anything but um, I passed it, and as soon as I seen the green letters, I was like, thank the Lord, <laughs> like it's God. over, the battle is over, <laughs> but yeah. And then you messed with Dad and didn't tell me till you got home. Yeah. <laughs> so I was on pins and needles the whole time going, uh-oh, she's not calling me, well, what's going on? Well, my phone was also almost dead, and Mom was like sending me alerts like, charge your phone, charge your phone, and I was like, Mom, I don't even, I don't even have the energy to speak right now. <laughs> well, it's been awesome watching you grow up and uh, get set your goals and accomplish them even with all the obstacles that you went through. Yeah. And I think that's, I mean, I, I, I tell a lot of people in real estate, like if it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah. And it really is not like, mm -hmm. as you've seen it, it takes a lot to get, even get in the, the field anymore. Absolutely. What would you tell people like yourself out there that are wanting to get into real estate? Like what would be your best piece of advice doing this? I think, preparing yourself for what the real estate like business and the industry really looks like. Um, it is competitive and it is, I mean, it can be hard. Like it's very, I think socially draining because you're working with people and you're putting out fires. Like you always say like, Oh, I'm putting out fires this morning. Like there's always going to be, you know, issues and people working with each other and deals fall through and all that stuff. So I think you kind of have to have the heart for it, especially to work with people and also to understand that this is, you have to take every deal seriously. And mm -hmm. that person's putting so much trust in you. 
So, and that's not like, obviously I haven't had that much experience in it, but just watching you, um, I know that that's a really big deal. And then also when it comes to starting out, just put, put your all into the courses, learn as much as you can, even though you think like, oh, I'm not going to use most of this and you probably won't, but still give it your all because that's setting an example for what your career in it Mm -hmm. is going to look like. And the test, some, I've heard different opinions on this. Some people say the test is the hardest part. And some people say, oh, the courses and the tests are easy. But once you get out in the field, you feel like you don't know anything, which I think is true. Right. But passing the test is the hurdle to get into it. It's like opening the door. Sometimes it's the hardest part. But once you're there, like you're just in it and you're just doing it. And then it just becomes your life. And it's, you know, it is what it is. But I think just don't give up. Right. Obviously, like I had a couple times where I failed the test and I didn't give up though. And if I would have, I wouldn't be here. So yeah. I think, you know, just keep, just keep working at it. And I think too, I was very discouraged when I failed the test. Cause I kept thinking like, well, what if this isn't for me? Like, what if it's just because I'm not going to be good at this? What if I can't retain the knowledge because, you know, it doesn't work for me. But then I realized that that wasn't necessarily the case because I knew it all and I could understand it, but it was just a test that's, you know, maybe worded differently Mm -hmm. or they throw random questions at you or things like that. And the nerves, obviously, of sitting here for, I mean, I took, it was four hours Mm -hmm. for me to take the test completely. And so at that point, you're just sitting there like completely drained, but just don't give up. That's probably my biggest advice. I would agree. I mean, that's, that's real estate, like. You might make an offer and it gets rejected. You don't walk yeah. away from it. Mm-hmm. You go yep. back, you, you, yep. you try it again, you do something different. So, no, I think that's good advice. Uh, so, I guess my next question for you, um, growing up with dad here in the business, how was it watching as a kid, uh, you know, getting in the car with me, going to open houses, yeah. getting in the car with me? Really, I was putting you in a car seat yep. for a long time and, and taking you. You didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. So how'd that look for you just kind of growing up in the business? Um, well, for those of you who don't know, I was homeschooled. You know, you guys chose to homeschool us, which gave us a lot of opportunity to work places other than home and other mm-hmm. than at school and at a desk. So honestly, a lot of the work we did was in the office. Like I remember, you know, the office we had, the two offices we had at Highlander Point, like we'd sit in there and we'd pack our school school supplies and we'd sit at an office desk and we'd do it all there. And we became close with the agents as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, like going in car seats. Like I remember, I vividly remember this house that we went to. It was beautiful. There was a lake in the back and she brought the lady who was um, listing it or selling it. She loved cookies. Mm-hmm. And we were just so excited about that. We thought that was the greatest <laughs> thing ever. And they had a Wii and she let us play it. And just little things like that that I remember. And we, me and Shelby, especially my sister, loved running around the houses mm-hmm. and pretending like it was our home. Like we were going to buy this house. Yep. And we'd say, well, this is my bedroom. <laughs> and so it was just so much fun growing up around it. And we became like seriously so close with the agents like Brenda. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I can't remember a time where I didn't know Brenda and where she wasn't working with you. Right. And like Dave, like he's one that's been there forever. Like I remember being so little and Dave walking through the front door and I was like, Oh, Hey Dave, you know what? He's still around. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was, it was really cool. But once I got older, I kind of contemplated, you know, like would real estate be for me or I don't know. Cause I saw you and obviously building it from the ground up. Like, Going from, what was it, Advantage Plus Uh to Remax and then, you know, to on your own and starting your own company. Like, that was huge. And I remember for, like, two years straight, that's all it was, was just, like, building this company. Like, Mm -hmm. that's all I heard about was, like, well, we got to get this website fixed and, well, this is falling (laughs) through. You know, we got to get this started. So, I mean, watching you take that on and create it to what it is now I think was so like inspiring for me and obviously it was scary for me too because I saw the stress that you were going through I saw the phone calls every morning and all day and at the dinner table that sometimes you just had to answer and you know there's obviously going to be a lot of hurdles with that and a lot of responsibility but I mean I I always told myself like when I started considering it I told myself that you worked so hard and even mom, too. Like, she helped so much. And it was a family. I mean, exactly. all of us pitched there in and tried. There was so much put into this company. And I would love nothing more than to keep keep that alive. And especially keep that in, like, the family name, you know, mm-hmm. and be able to at least give it a shot, you know? Sure. 
So I think that was, and it's a huge opportunity for me. It's a huge blessing. Why wouldn't I take it? Why would I pass that up? Like, so yeah, I mean, I think growing up around it was obviously a huge advantage to me because I saw so much of the back end stuff of it. And I have so much more experience than probably someone who's just starting off, Mm -hmm. especially at my age um, in real estate. But yeah, it was it you was knew, fun. <laughs> you, you knew what you were getting into, yeah, good and bad. Exactly. And I had a full perspective of it. You know, and that that's some of the things that we talked about that was heavy on your mind when you considered getting in real estate. You were going to Tom Ferry with me, kind yes. of getting a feel for it, really yes. getting to meet some really cool people and some mm-hmm. real influencers in our yeah. industry. And I remember you being honest and, and wanting to do this. Um, you know, you're not the one that wants to add to give you everything. Yeah. You want to earn it on your own. Like you were even talking about going and working with some of my uh, friends in the business at different companies just to just to kind of have that separation of, Dad, I want to learn how to do this. Yeah. I don't want anybody thinking it was handed to me because yes. it won't be. Yeah. And uh, that really kind of excited me because I knew that you were, you were thinking the right way. Like how do I earn it? How do I figure out how to do this the correct way? Not yeah. just say, hey, Dad, what can you give me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so one of the questions I had for you, um, and we touched on a little bit is what made you pursue this career. Obviously part of it was, you know, growing up around it, but I think it really, like I seen a light bulb come on when I took you to like, I think the first Tom Ferry event. No, Were I we think in the first one was Houston, in, Dallas, was something Dallas, like that. Yeah. It was in Texas. Yeah, I think you went to me as a, uh, with me to the elite retreat. Yes. And Cause that was where the Debbie Holloway had the yeah. wire event. And uh-huh. oh my gosh, I love that. If you haven't been to one, I would definitely recommend. Yes. It was so much fun. And it was wire stands for women influencing real estate. And it was, it was really cool because I was the youngest one there mm-hmm. and it, I was just surrounded by a bunch of women, but I felt so like, I didn't feel out of place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know near, I didn't even know a drop in the bucket compared to what all these <laughs> yeah. other women knew and had experienced. But it wasn't even all about like business deals and contracts. Like it was more about just like being a woman in the business mm-hmm. and you know what you encounter. And there was funny stories and there was all that. And Betty Graham gave us oh speech. Gosh. And what was funny was we got a picture together and we were talking and I was like, you know, I'm probably the youngest person in the room. And she was the oldest. And we were just like <laughs> hitting it off and it was great. But she was so inspiring. Oh, and yeah. Tom Ferry as well. Obviously, we spent hours at his, you know talks and lectures and I didn't know everything he was talking about I couldn't fully understand it because obviously I didn't have the experience I mean I picked up on some of the words that I knew and some of the terms that I knew but more than anything I paid attention to what he was giving advice on and and like how to be a good agent Uh and how to be a salesperson and how to be like someone who can be trusted in the business and just you know, how you treat your clients and that kind of stuff. And I the, took so many notes on that. Yes, you did. You'd actually take notes for me. I would say, hey, Peyton, <laughs> yeah. man, I got to run, talk to somebody or go to the bathroom, whatever. Yeah. I was like, can you keep up with my notes? And if anybody knows me, my handwriting's terrible. <laughs> like and I scratch. would come back to this beautiful art with pictures and, and <laughs> beautiful writing. I could read all the notes. I was like, okay, girl, you're going to be my new note taker because yeah. I can actually bring these back and read them. I had circles. I got stars. <laughs> I got highlighters. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, it was very good experience for me just watching you grow in those and, and getting to meet some of these very influential people that I've met and they've helped me yeah. out through the years. And just the mindset, that would be what I would tell any agent, especially a new yes. agent is like, you really got to watch your mindset because it can be good or it can be bad. Yes, exactly. And whatever it is, is what you're going to get. And so you really got to stay positive in this business because it's, you're dealing with a lot of, um, you're, you're problem solving. I mean, mm-hmm. that's the thing. So yeah. You know, and for those of us who care, like it matters. Like mm-hmm. I go to bed worrying about how this is going to work out for my client, yes. uh, you know, or my agent or, or my company or my kids, my family. Like yeah. it's, it's a lot. So and I'm excited to have help. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I think that's a big part of the question you asked was like, what made you want to pursue this career? Mm-hmm. I was already going to the conferences, and doing all that and considering it and preparing myself for that before finding out I was pregnant. Yeah. But when I found out, I think that was a huge light switch for me because I realized like it was time for me to grow up and it was time for me to, you know, make smarter decisions and mm-hmm. invest in my life and into my future. And that's when I took everything so much more seriously. Right. Um, and now that I have less than knowing that this is an opportunity for me, like I said, it's great, 
but it's also a way to provide for my son and mm-hmm. know that I can sleep well at night, like you said, knowing that I will be able to provide for him and I will be able to take care of him and that I'm doing something that's important. And also, like you said, caring about your clients. Yeah. Like, I just think that's so that's so fascinating to me and that's something that made me want to do it because I'm working with people one-on-one and it's like you get to grow relationships with them yeah. and you just get to really like help them and I just I don't know I think it's really cool and it's something that's my own like mm-hmm. my I work under a brokerage obviously but my clients are my own and like yeah. I'm working with them and you know my success is at my pace and it's mm-hmm. based off of how I treat people and how I handle things. So I think that's yeah, you take a lot of ownership. Yes. Really, when you're working for yourself, you can't blame anybody else. Yeah. You know, when I was at Ford, I could blame whoever up the line, <laughs> down the line. Uh, no more. It's it's my name, and yep. it's 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 my fault if it goes wrong. Always comes back on you. That's right. That's right. Um, so, what are you most excited for with starting out in 2024, getting your license? Oh, there's so many things. Um, being able to say I'm a realtor is just like woo. Yes. <laughs> um, Oh my gosh, my my teacher for from Syra, my yeah. courses would kill me. He always said, "Real tour, not realtor, real tour." <laughs> and oh my gosh, the whole like three months span of the classes, he was honest about that. But yes, saying that I'm a real tour is just a relief in its own, but mm-hmm. also just the opportunities like they could open up. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like you never know the kind of deal that might just fall in your lap. Like, but I think just meeting as many people as I can and learning as much as I can. That's like my goal for this year. That is what I'm most looking forward to is just, you never know what's going to happen and you never know what doors are going to open up. Um, the more people you meet, the more connections you have and those mm-hmm. connections can lead to crazy things. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just taking it all in step by step. And I'm not, we talked about this too. I'm not trying to rush into anything right. by like, Oh, I'm going to, you know, come off the gate and try to sell my first home. I have to be more realistic than that, obviously, with my age. Um, So whether it's, you know, helping Jen with little tasks and things and behind the scenes stuff like um, Zillow or creating. Well, you created websites last week. Yeah, I was creating websites the other other day, just creating (laughs) um, with Sierra Interactive and all that stuff. So. I think that's like, I'm just going to take things slow, learn as much as I can, and be happy with anything I can do. I'm going to be happy right. to do it. You know? Well, and if, if you're starting from the bottom and you work your way to the top, you know, whenever that is or wherever that top is for you, like you'll never, you'll know everything to get there. Whereas yes, somebody's exactly. just plugged into a position. Yeah, they may be able to do that position, but they don't know what's going on beside them on yeah. either hand. And I want you to know, I want you very well uh, rounded, yes. if you will in the business starting from the bottom to the top and i'm i'm really excited you're willing to start at the bottom and, and work your way to the top because quite honestly that's where i started too yeah. and it taught me a lot and you know now uh i've got some freedoms and stuff that i didn't have 10 15 years ago <laughs> yeah. transaction it, coordinators yeah, transaction coordinators <laughs> managers the whole nine yeah. yard like i tell everybody i'm a mess it takes a lot of babysitters to keep me in line <laughs> <clears throat> and you see that at home too. Mom yeah, does I mean, pretty we're good home job. And you come out and you're like, hey, does my outfit look okay? I gotta go. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Go yep. Ahead. Am I good to go? Yeah. Is there anything right now in the real estate um, that scares you? Um, the industry itself doesn't really scare me. Like the responsibility and the workload doesn't scare me. Um, it's very competitive, mm-hmm. which I don't see that as scary. I more see that as like opportunity you know yeah. you just you kind of just work and it's like a challenge almost mm-hmm. and not and like you know who can do better but just in like there's there's a lot of realtors out mm-hmm. there and you know there are also a lot of people who are looking to buy and sell homes but it can get competitive um but i think the thing that scares me most is just being so young and yeah. that people won't take me as seriously as i'm taking this the job like i i take it very seriously and I, it's really important to me that other people realize that, and that's part of starting at the bottom and not not allowing people to even for a second think that my dad's just handing this to me. Right. And that this is just, you know, something that I'm just being gifted or, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not spoiled in that way. Right. And that's why I want to work for it, and I want to start, you know, I've sat in the room watching 
transaction coordinators, you know, and sitting with Roxanne, for instance, and that with her a whole day, just helping her do transactions and stuff like that, just learning. And you have to start at the bottom, really. If you want to get to the top, you can't start halfway. Right. And so I just want people to take me seriously. And obviously, like I said, I'm not trying to come off the gate and sell my first home, but I hope that people see through the fact that I am 18. And obviously, I'm a mom as well. I'm not just a regular, you know, 18-year-old girl who's just going around doing her thing. Um, I I take I take everything seriously pretty much at this point in my life. I know I've said seriously a million times, but well, it's you, true. You had it's to grow true. up fast. I did. I did. And I I hope that people can look past the fact that I am 18 and see that, you know, I have that drive mm-hmm. and I have that, like, work ethic to be able to do it. And hopefully people trust me. <laughs> well, I think they will. And I've seen your work ethic. I've seen what you've done with, you know, uh, doing the right thing and having having your son to taking care of him, taking classes, passing tests, even yeah. when you got fa- – I mean, I've seen you when you come home with the failures. It wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that was something I don't think you experienced a lot in your life because you've just been super sharp and able to whiz through tests and, and pick up things and just really – you know, you're athletic. You've All these things have came pretty easy for you. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of an inside joke in our family about the athletic part. We <laughs> won't tell that here today. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that today, but we're all natural born athletes. Yeah. Um, so but much. I did see you, you kind of come up against a struggle there and it is hard and it is tough. Yeah. And, uh, I knew it would be, but usually with somebody, uh, that will just keep prevailing and, and get through it, they're going to keep prevailing. And yeah. so, I think that's you like you're just going to keep you're going to have things that challenge you and you're going to work it out and you're going to you're going to get through it and luckily you got a lot of good people around here dave brenda me susan like all these knowledgeable people that are Mm -hmm. if there's something that you don't know we're just a phone call away Oh, absolutely yeah and you're going to get good advice yes exactly i see all these agents as like my aunts or like my sisters you know somebody Mm -hmm. who's like i've not really spent that much time with them like one-on-one but just from seeing them and I know they've seen me grow up. Mm -hmm. Like I I know that I could call any one of them and they'd be right there, whether it's real estate related or not. Or personal. Mm -hmm. They've all got life experiences. Exactly. And I think that's what's been so special about our company is we are just all humans and we all are sharing this journey together. We've got our goals together and we help each other together. Uh, So speaking of goals, I want to wrap up here with your, what are your goals for 2024? They don't necessarily have to be just real estate. What, what have you got on your mind, Peyton? Um, that's tricky because there's just so many things. I get so ambitious. I'm like, I'm going to do this and this and this and this. You, you get it honestly. It's like, okay, Peyton, write it down a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think, like I said, you know, learning as much as I can, um, meeting as many people as possible, whether it's realtors from, you know, across the country or mm-hmm. it's just in our backyard, like, just being able to form connections, I think, is really important to me and learning from everything and everyone. I think there's no piece of knowledge that will be on un- like not useful to you because you never know when you're gonna need it and you're never you never know when you're gonna meet somebody and that piece of knowledge that you learn is gonna help you connect with them right. and help you relate to them. Um so that's you know, that's really important to me. Um I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to sell my first home this year, um, but obviously there's a lot that we'll have to prepare myself, I'll have to do to prepare myself for that. Um, yeah, just really taking it on and hopefully, hopefully it all goes smoothly and there's not too many obstacles in the way, but if there are, you know. We'll fix it. We'll get through it. Yep. Yep. It's problems. They're Hopefully out there. I have a good mentor. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll Hopefully try I don't to help get you. fired. <laughs> That's well, you know, it could happen. Let's not get fired. <laughs> I don't see that I'm happening. I'll be calling Debbie Holloway. I need a job. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, can you coach me on how to get my yes. job back? No, I'm super excited for that. Just being able to learn from her as well. Oh, she's, she's an amazing lady. lady. She is. Um, yes. Well, I'm super excited to see what you do this year. Um, I know we all are, and I'm excited to really get you in here starting this week and get get your boots on the ground right yeah. and just yeah. really get your hands dirty and figure it out so i'd say you'll be seeing a lot more of peyton with me she's going to be uh kind of watching dad little shadow yeah doing some shadowing with me <laughs> just like when i was in the car seat <laughs> yeah except i don't have to buckle you anymore yeah we might have to bring weston with us so we'll be buckling okay. him. it's his turn now <laughs> yep it's weston's turn to learn the business from the bottom up now 
So, well, I'm really excited for 2024. Congratulations, passing your test, you. getting licensed. And we're so happy you're here to work with us. And uh, we'll have to get on towards the end of the year and, and do a recap. Yes, for sure. Good? All right. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.